President Biden says Americans must unite in opposition to political violence, saying democracy itself will be on the ballot paper in next week's midterm elections. Mr Biden accused former President Trump and his supporters of undermining democracy and fueling anger and violence by refusing to accept the results of the 2020 presidential election. Peter Bowes reports from Los Angeles. This was a, a speech organized by the Democratic National Committee at Union Station in Washington. I think a deliberately chosen location is just a few blocks away from the, the Capitol building, where uh, last year there was that attempt by uh, violent protesters to overturn the results of the 2020 election. But Mr Biden actually started his speech by talking in some detail about the attack on the husband of Nancy Pelosi, Paul Pelosi, in San Francisco last week, something that has dominated the news here. The uh, person responsible for that allegedly said, where's Nancy? Where's Nancy? The same words that were used during the attack on the Capitol building last year. And President Biden said Americans must resolve their differences at the ballot box rather than using violence. And he urged Americans to choose candidates next week who will accept the election result. He said election deniers will take the country down the road to chaos. And he did also focus on the former president without naming, without saying Donald Trump, everyone aware who he was talking about, accusing the former president and his supporters of fueling anger, hate and vitriol by undermining democracy. You know, American democracy is under attack because the defeated former president of the United States refuses to accept the results of the 2020 election. He refuses to accept the will of the people. He refuses to accept the fact that he lost. He has abused his power and put the loyalty to himself before loyalty to the Constitution. And he's made a big lie, an article of faith in the MAGA Republican Party. Now, much of what President Biden was talking about during this speech, he has articulated before in other speeches over the last couple of years, but it seems to be significant that he is returning to this topic just days away from polling day. Uh, he is not doing well in the opinion polls. He acknowledged during this speech that there are other issues that Americans are concerned about, clearly the cost of living crisis, uh, rising inflation, the future of abortion rights, crime in the inner cities and elsewhere. Those are the issues that people are talking about. But it seems as if the president believes that there is perhaps a consensus across the country about the importance of democracy and being able to believe the result. Peter Bowes will have a special section on our website on the US midterms. It's all there. The latest developments, a guide to voting, including what's at stake and the implications for American politics, bbc.com slash news or you can use the BBC app.